I would like to address in this video the specificity of dual core device regarding the pin assignment. In the case of a GPIO, you have to select which core will initialize the GPIO. And in case of an IP, you have to select which core will initialize the IP and what is the runtime context. So first with the basic GPIO, let's select again our PA8 and configure it as a GPIO output. Now, if I right click on it, I've got an additional item in the menu, which is pin reservation. By default, the value is, the value is free. Free, that means it's not assigned to one core or to the other one. That means no initialization code will be generated. This is a trick. That means you think it's configured in your kubemx, but it won't generate the initialization code. So you have to select the cortex that will be responsible of this initialization. For example, Cortex M7. If I want to double check, double check the configuration of all my GPIO, I go in the system core category, GPIO, and here I can see the context assignment. I can also modify it from this menu, of course. Now regarding the IP, I can show the context of all the IP. That means which IP is defined in which context. For example, if I take again my user one, it could have a runtime context in the Cortex M7. That means the Cortex M7 will initialize and use it. But if I want to use it in the both core, I can select this. Then after, I have to select what is the core which is responsible of its initialization. For example, the M4. Now I select the mode and I can show the different default parameter. If you check the pin selected, if I right click, I don't have this menu to select what is the core because it's really linked to the IP here and not to the pin itself. So to sum up, if you select the runtime context of the user on Cortex M7, in the CM7 project, the code generated will do the initialization of the GPIO in alternate mode for the user. You will have the user initialization code with the parameter you define and the call to this initialization. Nothing in the CM4 project for sure. Symmetrically, if you selected the CM4 project for the runtime context, you will have all this code in the CM4 project and nothing in the CM7. And if you select both runtime contexts, you can select the initializer. So in this case, for example, the CM7, all the initialization code will be in the CM project, GPIO, use art on the code to this initialization code. But on the CM4 project, you will also have the definition of the function to initialize the use art because you will need to use it in the runtime context. And that's mainly what I want to show show you. So what is really important to remind is on the GPIO basic function, you have to select which core is assigned because you won't see it in this context menu. But if here you've got a pin context to free, no initialization code will be generated. I hope this was interesting for you and thanks for your attention.